Maker. <laughs> the Black Knight is evil. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Well, lots of countries have Black Knight stories, but my Black Knight story starts with a, a very bad man who uh, you try to beat in pinball machines. This is my third iteration, and I think it's the best one. No question. The first Black Knight game had this, you know, really iconic character. He was like the first character in pinball who actually taunted the player. The second one, music's really exciting, really driving. You know, you're really pumped up when you play the game. We had the opportunity here to bring it up you know, 30 years into the future with, you know, the latest and greatest in pinball design, latest and greatest in rules, latest and greatest in mechanisms and display. And then the music. You know, we're working with Scott Ian of Anthrax and Brendan Small of Death Clock. It's an expansion of what we've done in the past with Black Knight games. Magnuson, yeah! This game is the only Black Knight where you actually fight the Black Knight. Fight me! You've got this incredibly intimidating Black Knight right in the middle of the game, and he's got this bi-directional flail that he's spinning to try to block your way there. There's never been a flail on the pinball machine. I really like the violence of it flying back at you. As you go through the flail lane, it'll bring you to the upper play field on the premium and limited edition versions of the game you'll see that the Black Knight's trying to block you. He's got a shield he can raise up and down and bash the ball out of the way, too. You've got the smooth Steve Ritchie flow, but you've also got the battle aspects and some of the brutalness that Steve likes to put in the front of his game to really compel the player. Challenge me and I will show no mercy. You're like, well, it is the Black Knight. He doesn't want me to win. He wants me to lose. And it's my job to figure out how to advance past him to win the game. Empty your pockets. Black Knight is a bastard today. I was really flattered to be working with Steve Ritchie because he's this iconic, legendary game designer. And working on this title was like, yeah, this is one of the games that really made him the you know pinball superstar that he is today. Tim knows a lot about pinball rules, and we got along instantly. There's a huge age difference between us, but I think I'm actually only 19 in my brain. Maybe 18, maybe 11, I don't know. No way. There's a little bit of Black Knight in me because it's a character and I, I like to do characters. But that's not why I wear black. I wear black out of convenience and because it's easier. One load of laundry. <laughs> I like doing voices. I've spoken on my own games a bunch of times and other people's. I'm Shao Kahn. I'm, uh, Mortal Kombat 2. Fight fatality. It's fun. Steve's just bringing us such a super high level of intensity. I only want big, bigger, and biggest. That's all I want in the game, which means things have to be spectacular. They have to be entertaining. He wants everything to be more fire. Just, yeah, exactly. More fire, more lightning, more big hits more monsters in your face. Everything's just kicked up a notch. He's so passionate about the things in the game, and you're already talking to him in a loud volume because of his hearing. My hearing is going away. I have Meniere's disease, and everything is distorted. Just sort of brings you up and, you know, like, hey, Steve, what do you think of this? That's great, I love it, Tim. Working with Steve, I feel like we're in a spaceship flying through this cloud of nebulous, like, awesome, Heavy Metal magazine. <laughs> you have to let people create. This is, a, this is a place full of creative people. Every single artist had to kind of dip into being a concept artist in some way to define who these characters were and what they looked like. We sort of had the freedom to uh, explore the Black Knight's world. So it was really cool to kind of experiment with some different uh, settings for his lands and, and, and different types of monsters that we figured maybe he would entangle into his service. So the process really kind of went down to Tim would have a rule or an idea for a rule or a mode in the game. Initially, I started sketching those out. 
and would create some storyboards. I would take those storyboards and turn them into animatics. And then once they're animatics, we could kind of gauge the scope for what needed to be created in 3D. Denai is really good at creating monsters. Once we came up with some sort of like rough ideas, like okay, a sandworm, you know, it comes out of the sand, it surprises you. Denai would then take that idea to the next level by concepting out several, several ideas for each creature. <laughs> I feel like in the older games, like you fight with him one-on-one -on -one, and now he's kind of like the lord of the land and he have all these minions and monsters to kind of do his bidding. The hell hand is one. Oh my God. That's hilarious. When I saw it on the screen, I was blown away. It's like, that is so cool. It's just psychedelic. I love how I feel when I'm playing Black Knight. I just do. It's, it's really fun. It's a challenge. And I've made many adversary of pinball machines, but this one is probably the, the most extravagant. It's a journey where you're the player and you're just a hero trying to take down the Black Knight, and he's just throwing everything at you, and he's going to trick you. He's going to, you know, push his army in front of you, push his monsters in front of you. If you could get all the way through the game, you're going to battle the Black Knight one on one. Bring it on and really have like that big moment in the Black Knight story where you can finally defeat him. Wow. This game is over the top, in your face, brutal, devastating, awesome. <laughs> I guess the biggest thing is, is I hope people don't drain all their balls like watching the cool LCD effects. <laughs> you have to walk away feeling like, wow, I just had a great experience. I'm gonna play it again, I have to. This game is cool. All right, I don't want to say that. Yeah, I do. Okay, <laughs> if you beep it. <laughs>